Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. find we found a dead man's foot mushroom a dead man's foot mushroom wow so pith pisolithus it looks like a pile of poop doesn't it yeah so this mushroom is used for dyeing fabrics and stuff you wouldn't even know this is a mushroom really right yeah it looks like a pile of dog poop just growing right on the side of the road yeah and i found this here last year too so it grows back every year how weird all right, I'm gonna pick this big pile of poop up with my hand, okay? <laughs> oh, look at all the stuff that was under it. Yeah, left a big hole, didn't it? Yeah, look at all those little bugs that are eating it on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's bugs in it. Isn't that bizarre? Isn't that the weirdest looking mushroom you've ever seen? Yeah. It's so weird. There's a... Pisolithus arisa, I believe is what it's called, and people dye fabric with this big ugly thing. So I have one that's dried out, but look at that thing. That's crazy. Pretty cool. Thanks for helping me find this pile of poop dead man's foot mushroom. <laughs> so there's our big old dead man's foot. Are termites actually coming out of it? Are they nested in it? This is weird. It makes me want to cut it open to see what it looks like inside. Should we do that? Yeah. When we get home? Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> let's cut it in half. See what this thing looks it's like. A hermit. Termites. Or, or hermits. <laughs> I told them. So yeah, this I guess this kind of looks like a dead man's foot sticking out of the ground. When you see it like this. This is strange. And this is like a young specimen. This isn't. This isn't like old or beat up. This is just the way they look. All right, there it is. And it smells like mushrooms. Pretty strongly, actually. We're gonna cut this thing in half, see what it looks like. I hope there's no, I hope there's no termites. Termites in there? Yeah. We saw a termite fly out of it, it seemed like, so. So there might be millions of it, and they're gonna be flying everywhere. There could be termites in there, huh? Here it is. There's the dead man's foot. I'm gonna cut this thing in half. Let's see what's it, what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's super dry and hard. You scared termites are in it? Yeah. Weird, huh? No termites, but it's got this crazy coloration in there. Super interesting, weird mushroom. Doesn't need any, doesn't need like any moisture to grow. It's just out here growing on the dead grass sidewalk at the end of summer where there's just been no water. Really weird. Cool, huh? Yeah. Strange, strange mushroom. This is known as Pisolithus arisus. Yeah, it's kind of a tough name to say, but commonly called the dead man's foot or the dye ball, because this is actually used for dyeing protein fabrics like wool and silk. You can just boil it in some water and throw your protein fabric in there. Chances are that it won't really adhere to the fabric in any permanent sense unless you add a mordant to it. It's a whole science and you can heavily research it online. It's also affectionately known as the dog turd fungus. This is a mycorrhizal mushroom, so it's growing in association with one of the trees that we're growing nearby. It can associate with all different kinds of trees and plants, so it's a very opportunistic mycorrhizal partner. It is considered toxic and or inedible. So if you were really hungry and you came across something like this, chances are it's probably gonna get you sick. It'll just turn into a big pile of brown spores after it matures and it's kind of like a puff ball in that sense it'll get kicked and the spores go everywhere very interesting strange mushroom